With Glide Pro, you can integrate Google Analytics and see information about your users and how they interact with your app. In this video, we're going to look at four things. An overview of Google Analytics, integrating Google Analytics with Glide, testing, and reporting. Your Google Analytics account is organized by accounts, properties, and data streams. Accounts, not to be confused with your Google account, are the highest level and usually represent a company or organization. If you work for multiple organizations, you may have access to a few of these. Properties live inside of accounts and you can have many of them. Properties represent different websites and apps that belong to that account or business. Data streams are a source of data that then feeds in to your property, like an app or a website. A property can have multiple data streams, allowing you to add both your website and your app as a data stream and track user behavior across both locations. In this video, we'll be looking at the simplest scenario where we have one data stream, which is our app, feeding into one property in our account. If you don't already have a Google Analytics account, you'll want to head over to analytics.google.com and sign up. We're going to look at what a user sees the first time they use Google Analytics. However, if you already have an account, just head to the admin area of Google Analytics and follow the same steps there. Our first step is creating a Google Analytics account. This is likely to be the name of your business or your organization. Next, we'll need to create a property. If you're familiar with Google Analytics, you'll have probably used the web property type in the past. Website analytics are based around page views. In other words, when the URL changes, Google Analytics knows that the user has moved to another page. Glide apps are progressive web apps. They have a URL and live on the web, but when you move to different screens, the URL doesn't change. Instead, interactions in your app are registered as events, and then these are passed to Google Analytics. The best type of property to use for a Glide app then is the app and web property type. After you select this, you can give your property a name, industry, reporting time, and currency. Once Google Analytics loads, it will prompt you to add a data stream. Although Glide apps work on iOS and Android, they live on the web, so we can choose web as the data stream. Here we can add the URL of our app and name the stream. All Glide apps have SSL, so we'll change the URL to start with HTTPS, add our URL, and then give the stream a name. Data streams default to using advanced measurement, which measures more interesting things about your user's behavior, such as outbound clicks, search, and scrolls. It's best to leave this enabled. Once you create the stream, Click back into it to reveal the stream's measurement ID. Copy this and head over to your app in Glide. In Settings General, we can now add this to the Google Analytics integration box. If you don't see this box, make sure your app is Pro, as it won't appear for free apps. Back in Analytics, we can then head to the home screen by clicking the Home icon. This is Google Analytics, and at the moment, it looks pretty empty. And that's because we've only just linked it to our app, and so there's no data. If your app has active users, then you'll start to see data appearing over the following days. However, we can now verify whether our integration is working by heading to the real-time report. This shows us real-time information about how users are interacting with our app. If there are no users currently using your app, you can open up a new browser and visit your app. After a minute or two, you should see a new user appear on the map in your location. If you don't see anything after a few minutes, try opening an incognito window and visiting your app again. Sometimes browsers may have content blockers installed, which can prevent Google Analytics from tracking users. Now that we've verified it's working, we can dive into the data on this user. If we click View Snapshot, we'll enter a live timeline of events triggered by a random user of our app. Here we see three events triggered the moment the user started. First visit, page view, and session start. 
Exiting the user snapshot, we can also view all events in aggregate in the trending events window. For example, if we look at the screen name dimension, we can see new screens appear as the user navigates our app. In other words, every time a user visits a different screen in our app, it will trigger a new event with the name of that screen and pass it to our analytics. One thing to note is that if your app requires users to sign in, then these events won't trigger until that user has signed in. After a few days, the data that you saw in the real-time report will start appearing in the broader report sections of Google Analytics. There are four primary report types. Users, which shows user engagement from different perspectives, such as active users, and new users by medium and source. Demographics, which shows user engagement by demographics such as age, city, country, and interests. Behavior, which shows user engagement with your content from the perspective of screens and events. And technology, which shows the different platforms, devices, browsers, and operating systems by which users engage with your content. Google Analytics also has a really helpful search bar where you can use natural language to search or go to different sections. For example, you could ask new users last week from France, mobile users during the last week, or United States users during the last 30 days. You can also use the advanced analysis section to drill down into exactly the data that you're after. At this level though, Google Analytics can get a bit complex. So to learn more about it and the new web app property type, you can browse help articles or ask questions in the Google Analytics help community. We'll have more tutorials on analytics in future, but for now, that's an overview of setting up Google Analytics with Glide.